Well, a pair of videos place NDP leader Jagmeet Singh at rallies for a Sikh independent home mine in the Punjab, and this raises questions about Mr. Singh's positions on separatism, Sikh extremism, and his failure to condemn the mastermind of the Air India bombing in 1985. Let's find out what the leader has to say. Jagmeet Singh joins me in the studio. Welcome to the program, sir. Great to be here. Let's get a pivotal question out of the sure. way. Do you condemn, without reservation and by name, Talwinder Parmar for his role as the architect of the Air India bomb in 1985? That was, after all, the central determination of Canada's Commission of Inquiry. I think whenever we talk about uh, Air India, we've just got to take a moment to pause to reflect on the fact that this was the worst terrorist act in the history of our country. That hundreds of Canadians were killed and that the families and loved ones that lost people so close to them mm -hmm. still continue to feel the pain. There was an inquiry, and you pointed to that inquiry. The inquiry effectively re-traumatized folks that had to relive through this horrible tragedy, this horrible loss, okay. this horrible terrorist act. Um, and it also left a sentiment of feeling for the Sikh community that they were being painted collectively and being con punished collectively for the acts of some individuals. Mm -hmm. The inquiry ended up identifying Talwinder Singh Parmar. Uh, I accept the findings of the inquiry, and I condemn everyone responsible. So in I want to make that clear. In particular, yes. And him particularly. Yes. Okay, because this man's face is in temples, and, and he's been hailed as a martyr, despite, as you point out, the mastermind of the worst terrorist uh, attack in, in Canadian history. There have been events, photos, uh, events where you've attended. Mm -hmm. Don't you get on the stage and go, this looks bad. Even though I'm not a sympathizer with this man, this is a terrible optic. Well, I think the first thing you, you touched on is how would it make someone who's lost a loved one feel? Mm -hmm. Of course, it would re-traumatize someone to see someone that the inquiry held accountable. Uh, to see that would, would re-traumatize uh, people. It re-traumatize Canadians. It's, it's, it's hurtful. I think it's also important, though, to keep in mind the context that uh, the Sikh community has been the subject of a genocide, a violence, an attack against one of the most revered places of prayer where thousands of Sikh civilians were killed, uh, a government that's, that organized, state-organized violence against a minority community. In that context, there are some people in the community that don't accept the official record, that question the official record. And while my position and my approach has been different, I do understand where that comes from, where that pain comes from. So I understand that, and my goal has always been, okay, how do we work towards moving towards a, pace, a place of peace and reconciliation by, by understanding the, the realities and the complexity of the situation. But, you know, if Justin Trudeau went to a rally where the killer, the FLQ killers of James Cross and Pierre Laporte, where there was a big blow-up photo of them and he was standing in front of it, I'm sure he'd get off that stage in a hurry. Shouldn't you have? Well, so for me, I mean, I think the question is why would I attend an event yeah. where there's different pictures up? At the end of the day, um, I, I've experienced and I understand the pain and trauma that the Sikh community has gone through. I understand it as someone that grew up with parents who wouldn't talk about the, the pain of what they experienced, the fact that every Sikh knows someone who's been killed because of uh, government violence around 1984. Uh, because of that pain and trauma, I grew up with that as well, and I felt frustrated and angry, but I used my frustration and anger into something positive. I talked about how as a member of a marginalized community, I could build a society or work towards building a society where no one is left behind, where everyone enjoys access to resources. And so I've talked about ways to move forward. And I feel like if I can connect to someone in that audience and talk about ways forward, I've done something good and I have to be there to do that. If I don't go there, I leave the space vacant for someone else to, to share other views that maybe I don't agree with. I, I think most Canadians didn't know what Khalistan was uh, not too long ago. Uh, it is uh, an aspirational homeland for Sikhs uh, around the world. They, there's a lot of some, there is support for it. You've been to several rallies where that was a central theme. What exactly is your position? Should India be subdivided into a, a Khalistan, or should India remain a, an, an entity into itself? So the question is an important question to ask, and I thank you for the question. I think. One, uh, my position is very clear in terms of where I stand. I stand in defending the right to talk about it, to talk about self-governance, improving autonomy, self-determination. All these questions are things that are legitimate, mm -hmm. that people can talk about in a peaceful, democratic way, and there's no issue about that. Whether it happens in Scotland, in Catalonia, or in India, it's something that people should be allowed to talk about. 
but because I'm a federal leader in Canada, my position in Canada is a united Canada. But around the world, it's not my place to say whether Scotland should or should not vote for uh, independence, whether that applies to Catalonia or to India. These are decisions made by the people that are in those communities, and it's up to them to decide. Again, uh, politics, perceptions, reality in many ways, and you're standing beside a, an individual who reportedly said that seek uh, self-determination require taking up arms. Uh, you've renounced violence, but uh, is there not a guilt by association optic here? Well, again, there, there's a complexity to the situation. We have to look at the context where Sikhs were targeted by their own government and were subject to massive violence and thousands of people were killed. Fine. Some people turned to leaders who were protecting and defending people who were being targeted and killed. And some people don't agree with that. The issue is complex, and it's not easy to say I agree or disagree with that. It's important to understand the, the, the complexity of the scenario. Do you regret going to those rallies now? No, I would, I would go in the future. I think that if I don't go... You'll go in the I, future despite all this? Yeah, I miss out on an opportunity to talk to people about what are the ways forward, how one can use the pain and trauma, like how I use the pain and trauma that I experienced as a kid, and channel that into something positive, transform it into something positive. If I can touch the lives of, of even one person in an audience, I've done something positive, and I can, I can do that. All right, Jagmeet Singh, uh, thanks for coming in. We appreciate you making time for us. Thanks so much. All right.